Many old objects can exude a mystifying aura, but when an object causes one to lose their life, it transforms from mystifying to spine-chilling. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, let us talk about three cursed objects that claimed the lives of people in different parts of the world. Busby Stoop Inn Chair Also known as the Dead Man's Chair, the Busby Stoop Inn Chair is believed to be a haunted oak chair that was cursed by Thomas Busby before he was sentenced to be hanged in 1702 in North Yorkshire in the United Kingdom. Thomas Busby fatally took the life of his father-in-law, Daniel Orty, who was also his business partner in an illegal enterprise of manufacturing fake coins. After a disagreement about their business, Busby killed Orty. Busby's sentence was carried out at Sand Hutton Crossroads, next to an inn which was later renamed as the Busby Stoop Inn. The site where he was sentenced is allegedly still haunted by Busby's ghost to this day. During World War II, Canadian airmen from a nearby base at Skipton on Swale went for a few drinks at the pub next to the site of Busby's hanging. The men who sat in the cursed chair unfortunately never made it out of their air raid missions over Europe, while the ones who did not sit on the chair made it out alive. The surviving airmen could not help but attribute the bad luck of their comrades with them sitting on the cursed chair. In the 1970s, several fatal accidents were associated with the cursed Busby Stoop in chair. Having claimed dozens of lives, the local community decided that it was best to have the chair hung at a museum so that nobody will be able to sit on it. The cursed chair can be found hanging from the ceiling of Thirsk Museum in England. Thirsk Museum is a historic home located in North Riding of Yorkshire. Aside from the Busby Stoop in chair, it is also filled with memorabilia of local life, markets, old small businesses, farmers and their crops as well as cricket. If you take a look at the photos of the chair, it looks like any ordinary chair. However, to feel the mystifying vibe, you are going to have to travel to the Thirsk Museum to see the chair in person. Let us backtrack a little and go back to when Busby supposedly cursed the chair. There are several theories circulating on how it happened. According to the first theory, Busby was drunk on the chair when he was arrested. Out of anger and frustration, he cursed the chair right then and there. On the other hand, the second theory states that Busby cursed the chair while on his way to his sentencing before taking his last breath. The victims of the cursed chair were either skeptics or reckless. Whether or not you believe in cursed objects, it's best to take extra precautions around old objects, especially if it has been known to be mysterious. Cursed Pharaoh Carving As early as 1922, there has been a belief in a curse that claims the life of anyone who in any way disturbs the tombs of ancient Egypt's pharaohs. This belief can be dated back to the discovery of Tutankhamun's tomb and the sudden fatality of the excavation's financier, Lord Carnarvon. Anyone who has seen pictures of Egyptian tombs understands that these are sacred places built by ancient people. Mummies and tombs are scary enough as they are. When you add to the story the element of a curse, it becomes terrifying on a whole new level. The victim of the cursed pharaoh carving is a German man who stole a piece of carving during his visit to Egypt in 2004. Shortly after his return to Germany, the man suffered nausea, paralysis and unexplained fevers. He was later diagnosed with incurable disease and then passed away. The ancient Egyptians held final resting places as sacred and holy. It was important for them to build the tombs with the best engineering and architecture design available at the time to make sure the dearly departed went on to the next life with everything they needed. When an Egyptian pharaoh's life came to an end, those who buried him needed to make sure that the tomb was secure, elaborate and well-designed, fit for a ruler. Taking this into consideration, it's more understandable that ancient Egyptians have put a curse on anyone who would dare steal or do damage to a pharaoh's tomb. The incident with the German man who stole a piece of carving is a very recent one. It happened in 2004 and many were shocked to find out that the curse still has power. This led some people to question the truthfulness of the story. So let's dig a little deeper. 
An anonymous German man delivered a package to Egypt's embassy in Berlin containing a piece of pharaonic carving. The package came with a note that says his stepfather had suffered a curse of the pharaohs for stealing it. The package was later sent back to Egypt by diplomatic pouch and was turned over to the Supreme Council for antiquities to study the piece and verify the authenticity of the man's claim that it had been stolen from an Egyptian pharaoh's tomb. According to Egypt's Supreme Council for Antiquities, the note states that the German man who surrendered the carving felt that he needed to return the stolen piece to make amends for his stepfather's soul to finally rest in peace. Virgin Mary Crying On November 22, 2005, hundreds of people flocked to the Vietnamese Catholic Martyrs Church in Sacramento, California, after reports of red stains were seen running from the eye of a Virgin Mary statue. There are thousands of the same incident reported around the world every year. Although many people dismiss it as a gimmick by the locals wanting tourists to come to their area, there are still millions of people around the world who believe that this phenomenon is somewhat of a curse or a warning that something terrible is about to happen. Kai Truong, a 56-year-old, has been a parishioner for as long as he can remember. After seeing the reddish stains near the eyes of the Virgin Mary statue, Truong concluded that there is a big event that is about to happen in the near future and it's not good. He said he is expecting some type of a natural disaster. It could be an earthquake, flood or a global pandemic. While it's undeniable that some people are capable of pulling a gimmick to deceive people for their own personal gain, it's also undeniable that some of the Virgin Mary crying incidents proved to be real warnings about destructive natural disasters that happened in different parts of the world. To date, the Catholic Church has confirmed only two instances of the Virgin Mary crying blood. One was Our Lady of Akita in Japan in 1988, and the second one was in Syracuse, Italy, in 1953. All the other instances are not verified by the Catholic Church, although there are cases all around North and Latin America, Asia and Europe. Unfortunately, there are so many fraudulent instances of Virgin Mary crying that it's impossible to prove if it's real blood or if someone is trying to fake it. The reality is, whether it's a curse or a warning, we just need to stay alert and always be prepared for any situation to come along. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.